there are products that sometimes create a hysteria and I think this is going to be one of them. So before we get into this video, I'm going to tell you right away, you're either going to love this product or you're not going to get it and you're going to hate it. So this is certainly not a product for everyone. What is it? It's the Pro X Control Tower Model XZF DJCT and we're going to dive into it right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwarz here, content director with The DJ's Guru. As always, coming at you from The DJ's Guru studio here. And today, we're gonna to talk about the Pro-X Control Tower Model XZF DJCT. And oh my gosh, I made a post about this uh, not too long ago and it, uh, it certainly caused some I'm, stir a little bit in the industry for a lot of reasons, but people are definitely excited about this product and today we're going to talk about the model that fits DJ controllers. Which controller does it fit? It fits the Pioneer DDJ SX, it fits the DDJ 1000 and the 1000 SRT, the SZ and the SZ2, as well as the XDJ XZ. And uh, we'll get more into exactly what this is as we open it up, but first, before we get into everything, I want to remind you, as always, if you're enjoying our videos, please subscribe to our pages because we're going to be coming at you with tons more content. Uh, and if you have any questions on this item, any items in general in the DJ or performance world, the DJ's Guru community, we're here to help you. That's what we do. And uh, any questions you have, please drop them below. Now, what I really like about the Pro X model is that it comes with two road cases. One road case to fit the column and one road case to fit the controller inside the actual podium. So you can now basically transport your podium table and your controller all in one shot. Um, and of course you're transporting your, your bottom and your column as well. So um, although the cases are big and in total, just so you have an idea, it's 174 pounds here. So there's wheels built in, it's a very easy case to get around, but you're not fitting this in the back of you know, a Toyota Corolla, let's, let's be honest. So you, know, you have to have a legitimate vehicle if you're gonna go this direction, but I think anyone who's gonna be interested in this will. The weight outside of it is only about 50 to 55 pounds. And uh, once you get it out of the cases, it's extremely easy to put together, we'll go through that later. So although not, um, portable in the sense that it's it's big and heavy uh it's very um modern in as in the sense that we all want to get set up faster right and we'll show later how easy this is to set up because again your controller is already in the table and it's just a matter of putting two sections together and you're done again it's not for uh, the DJ performer that's going to bring a mess of stuff it's not for someone that wants to hide a bunch of wires and other stuff in uh, behind their front board or booth it's not for that DJ um, or performer it's just not and at the end of the day this is not for everybody like we said earlier so I think those who are going to really be into this are going to love it and I think it's going to really make sense for them and if it doesn't make sense to you that's what it is I mean totally makes sense to me that it wouldn't make sense to everybody uh, but I personally love it so I'm excited to kind of open this up I want to show you how we set it up 
I want to get into the inside of it and kind of give you an idea of what comes with it and all of that good stuff. So uh, let's do it. Are you ready? All right, so we're all set up here. As you saw, it took no time at all. Um, very easy to put together. Again, it's, it's a big case, but once you get them out of the case, very lightweight, very easy to put together. And obviously, as you can see, just an extremely clean, minimalistic, very easy to and uh, look at and pleasing on the eyes type of a look here. Your DJ controller is recessed in here beautifully. You have your microphone right here for easy access. Uh, and of course you have your, uh, your laptop stand here. Your laptop goes right here. So you can actually see that right there, keeping your eyes, you know, right where they need to be on the crowd, not necessarily any other direction and being in view to your audience, you know, and, uh, that I think is something that makes this different. You know, there's now not this barrier between you and the group that you're performing for, which to me makes it a more personal experience. It makes you uh, able to connect better with the audience, with the crowd that you're working for. And, um, you know, again, to me, I think it looks great. So. so this is the control tower from the front. And you can see the microphone goes right here. Uh, this is the top plate here that goes on the top of the column section. You have a nice recessed look here on the front like we said and again the column is made of wood here there are recessed heavy duty latches that latch everything on and then once again you have your three tier column shelving here which is going to allow you to store headphones store your wireless microphone receiver gum usb thumb drives whatever it is that you need but Ultimately, uh, you got storage there. And again, minimalistic design on something like this is what you're kind of going for. So this is the front. And again, um, you do have a little bit of space underneath here as well. So you can kind of see how it's all held together. But uh, you have access to everything that you need on the front end of the controller, of course. And then you have a little bit more space here for other stuff. Uh, as you can also kind of see in there, there are portholes that are followed down here to the bottom. And then your cabling would run that direction and behind you. I wanted you to really just see up close the wood and the paint job and everything, how beautiful this really is and how nice it looks. Um, it's definitely different than a plastic or a metal. Uh, I just think it has a really, really nice look to it. And of course, this is the front column and that's your base plate there. Okay, so I wanted to have an opportunity to show you this out of the box. So this is your podium without the top. Uh, the top we, we put on, you saw that earlier, but this is essentially the inside of it. I was using a DDJ SX3. You put the foam inside, it comes with foam for each of the controllers we listed before, as well as a top that just basically places right on top and overlays right over the controller. And then you have your, I put the column and the base plate together already. And that is just put together simply by butterfly latches here. They're recessed, they're white, so they don't stand out. Very high quality. You drop it right on there and uh, you're all set to go. 
And of course, these are the cases closed down. This is your podium, I'm sorry, your column and your base plate case. And then this larger one houses the podium with the DJ controller inside. And then for anyone who was curious about how you transport the controller in the case, the road case here, all in one shot, quite simply, you have a larger case. The inside of the podium here remains open. Your controller obviously sits in the foam there. And then what you have is extreme pressure foam here. That's all around. One thing I will note is that there is a specific direction you have to put this in. So I would recommend putting some sort of a mark, you know, that tells you which way or otherwise you waste time. I've done it already, <laughs> but um, it's not moving in there. I can assure you that it's not moving. And of course you have your ATA rated flight case around it. So not only is it protected inside the podium, but it's obviously protected inside the case. Lastly, I'll show it to you with the top on and uh, you know, these are what the tops look like here um, But this is it with the top on and then basically everything is held together on the top and connected with your Pole M20 pole that works for your laptop holder and uh, That's essentially how the system comes together all right, everybody. So what did you think, huh? We got a chance to see this thing put together. We got a chance to see the back, the front, the in, the out, and uh, kind of go through some of the things that uh, are incorporated with this type of design. So a couple things that I, I love about it is, for me, I love the style. I think it's definitely the future. I see this being much more commonplace, you know, 10 years from now, everyone, but many people using styles like this. Uh, I think we're all aware that there's more options out there now. So as that's going to happen, get ahead of the curve, right? Don't wait. Get ahead of the curve. Be the first in your area to have something like this. And, and you know, you don't have to use it on every gig. Use it as a piece to upsell you know, uh, into one of your packages. I also see a product like this being used extremely well in hospitality venues. You know, think about a really high class hotel. Think about, you know, a luxury boutique, anything like that, retail, you know, there's just a lot of versatility with it in different marketplaces. It's not for every private events DJ, but there are so many different places where something like this would make so much sense for um, anyone that's using a, D a DJ controller or a venue that has a DJ controller and just wants to house it in something simple. Uh, what don't I like about it? It's extremely easy to set up. It's very quick to set up. I'm not crazy about the, the big cases personally for me because I don't have a big vehicle. Now, uh, um, for someone who already has infrastructure like that set up, not a big deal. So for me, I don't have a huge vehicle. You know, I definitely could make it work, but it's something that I'd have to really, you know, Tetris, uh, so to speak. So it's not that I don't, I don't like it. I just don't love it. <clears throat> as far as what else I don't like, you just have to be careful with it because it's wood, you know, but... Again, I think that's why they chose these heavy-duty cases. Uh, and I think once it's out of the case, there's not really much that you have to worry about. Um, I was practicing with it uh, earlier, and I personally moved it, scuffed it up a little bit, and it came right off. Get yourself like a magic eraser or something like that on the white version. Very easy. So um, that's pretty much what I don't like about it. You know, again, it's, it's one of those things where there's not too much to say and there's not too much to show, you're either gonna love it or it's not gonna be for you. So either way, I'm a fan and I do think that this is something that's going to become more popular as we move into the future. So thank you everyone so much for watching our video today on the Pro X Control Power Model XZF DJCT. We're the DJ's Guru. My name is Justin Schwartz. I'm the content director. If you enjoyed our video today, if you enjoy what we're doing here on the DJ's Guru, we always appreciate subscribing to our pages down below. Give this video a like. And if you have any questions, please drop them down below. I, I and our team here at the DJ's Guru are always happy to answer questions. Our whole mission is helping and really elevating this industry. So anything we can do to help you out, please let us know. You can catch us on social media at the DJ's Guru, on all social media channels, as well as at the DJ'sGuru.com. 
So thanks so much, everyone. We'll catch you next time. And as always, like I like to say, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care, all right? Bye-bye.